Meanwhile, here in Scotland, where I live, we are praying for the victory of the We Free Christian Fundamentalist candidate. The We Frees are so austere, their main problem with having sex standing up is that it might lead to dancing. They are the, they are the descendants of the most extreme Calvinist Puritans that it is possible to imagine. And as someone from a Roman Catholic background, you wouldn't expect me to be hoping that their candidate, Kate Forbes, currently the finance minister, comes out on top in the race to fill the vacancy, dramatically created by the rapidly departing Nicola Sturgeon. I wonder what she's running away from. Perhaps we'll find that out too over the next few days. Kate Forbes is at least sane. Kate Forbes can at least count numbers. As the finance secretary, uh, she knows her arithmetic. At least we must assume so, though she's in a government that has cost the Scottish taxpayer, for which read British taxpayer, because most of the money that the Scottish government are spending comes from taxpayers in places like Bradford, or Bethnal Green, both of which I represented in Parliament and are both considerably poorer than the Scottish people that they are subsidising with their taxes.